Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy, and in this video, we're just gonna do an overall market recap. Just kind of look at the health of the overall markets. And we're gonna start off here with the S&P 500. So this has been a general benchmark that we look at as traders, as investors, to see the health of the overall market. And so if we follow my mouse here and we go all the way back down here, this was the bottom of our March 2020 flash crash that I call it. Happened very quick, but it was very substantial. And from this point on, we've had a clear uptrend. You can see we've been substantially going up. And then we were in this uptrend pattern. We broke out, but we got rejected once by this level and we have yet to retest and break past this level. So we are starting to lose some gas in this rally. And so today was actually a pretty wild day. We were down as much as 2%. And so this looks like a very strong doji candle. So this candle, when you close at the top of the wick, that is actually a very great sign of bullish momentum. We got a tag of our 100 day SMA. Some of you may not care about the technicals of the S&P 500 because I'm not talking about humble or I'm not talking about a specific stock. But what you need to realize is if you can understand the price action on a larger scale, it will help you make better investment decisions for single stocks like a humble, like an iGen, like whatever stock that we want to talk about. The reason why I say this is because if we look at today's performance in the market, it was a lot of red. A lot of the stocks just continue to crash. A lot of these stocks that did very well in the last year have gotten destroyed in this past year and they continue to go down. And people are thinking that it's a good time to buy these plays when in actuality, there's always a better time to buy. And the reason why I say that is because I personally love to go long on stock market picks when we back test this red line on the S&P 500. Reason why I say that is if we look back in history, it is very rare that we break down from this red line. When we do, we eventually get an even larger correction that becomes an even better buying opportunity. But most of the times, this red line acts as a last level of defense. You get to this point, you buy, and then you just hold, and you let the markets do their thing. And so from this drop in 2020, we broke past this red line, and since about June of 2020, we have yet to get a back test on this level. And so this has been an extraordinary uptrend. And so it is only healthy for the price action to come back down and retest this 200 day SMA. And so with the type of volatility we're seeing in the markets today, we actually had a very strong close that was very bullish in my opinion, but I could see the price action easily getting down to this 200 day SMA. I think buying at the 200 day SMA for any stock in the S&P is a great play. And if we're looking at specific examples that I have been getting destroyed, if we look here, I personally love UAVS. So UAVS right here is trading at a dollar 45. This is a stock that has reached heights of around 18, 19 dollars. And it looks like an extremely attractive buy right now. But imagine how attractive it's going to look when the S&P 500 is trading down below this red line, because if the S&P goes down, all of the stocks that associated with it are also going to go down. There has been a common theme. All of these stocks that ran up last year are going to take the brunt of the downside this year. And so I am not in any hurry to buy any of these plays yet. If we could get down to this red line and we show that this is going to be a level of support for us, then I will be going long in a lot of these plays that have been getting destroyed. And so a lot of you should have your eyes open on some of these plays. Just at a quick glance, ACDC is a top target of mine. This is a play that I've been looking at at this level of support. I have bought up here at around 20 cents and now I do have an order set here and we did hit that target today. And so between these levels, you can see right here, this was a top of a previous run and now we are finally coming back to test that as a level of support. And so this becomes a prime opportunity to buy a stock like ACDC where you have larger investors with warrants in this stock that they can only exercise 
if the stock price is at a dollar and a dollar fifty and so if we're looking at it at 10 cents you're getting at least 10x upside before bigger money can even sell the stock and so when i see plays like this these are easy money grabs that you want to buy at the best possible time and so of course acdc can go even lower but on its technical analysis this is a great time to be loading up if it goes lower it becomes an even better time to buy but right now i think we are at a pretty critical level of support we we may stay at these levels for a little bit but look how far away from our 20 day sma we are so this is going to snap back probably tomorrow you can see on our rsi we are oversold so if you got the opportunity to buy acdc today that would have been a solid play like i said there was a limit order in for this play and i'm very glad to be a part of this company another stock that's on a lot of people's radar ttcf so this is tattooed chef this has been talked about by everybody and anybody and so for just looking at this chart right now this looks like a very bearish setup i could see this one going lower however at 14 dollars for the long run i don't think you can go wrong with ttcf but like i said you could get a better opportunity to buy this maybe at 10 maybe at 11 dollars and so what you want to see with the volatility in the markets right now is to find a concrete bottom yes we saw the price action go very low today we saw it recover but this could just be intraday scares at the end of the day i want to see the price hit that 200 day sma and whatever the prices are looking at at that point in time those are going to be more attractive prices than what they are right now and so always remember that if you have ample amounts of cash it's not a bad idea to nibble away at some positions but i would not be deploying money in right now a lot of these plays if they are at long term levels of support that you plan to hold for a long term then by all means go buy these plays and plays like that i refer to are those acdc's those igens those humbles in this case ttcf i like uavs as well if we're looking at more plays that are really slept on i think jnh is only at 15 cents and this is going to be a massive player in the pharma space just considering that it is in every single walmart i do think that we are going to slowly transition out of our traditional walk-in clinics and we are going to start to get some consolidation in that space if we look at some other plays that are looking extremely attractive to me right now uh, Alibaba is a huge monster that you can clearly see has a gap to fill here at around 162. So you already have upside on this one. China is not going to get decimated forever. This will eventually recover. And when it does, this might be one of the best performing stocks that you could buy in a year. And so keep Alibaba especially close because 128 is a steal on this stock. This is extremely undervalued right now. And Alibaba has a lot more to prove. Just a lot of clouds around china which is why this is starting to get hammered if we start to go even further down there's charge point that i want to look at that i can't seem to find right now on my list um but that is one of the ones where i also am looking for a point of entry if i go here charge point right here you can see right here i do have this triangle in place but we actually broke down from this triangle and so with charge point right now it may go lower rsi is starting to look oversold so we could start to see some bounces overall if i look at this on the weekly just to quickly look at where we could be we could still see this one go a bit lower and if we do i do like charge point the reason why charge point is on my radar right now is because i think these guys are going to get the mass majority of contracts i live in canada and uh, one of my peers that i work with actually has an ev and on the dashboard it actually shows you the closest charging stations and it shows you what brand they are if they're available and on that list i saw a ton and ton of charge point and anytime i see that for the long term i put two and two together if charge point is very strong right now it's only going to get better over time and so if i'm looking at the prices i want to get this at the best opportunity that i can and so charge point is one of those charging station plays that i have on my radar that i will be getting into right now we are in free fall i could see this going even lower and if we do i will be there to snag it up and so this was just a video to help you guys understand where we are in the markets right now we are at a very volatile stage so it's not the best idea to throw all your money in right now but if you do have some plays that are on long term support like an acdc it's not a bad idea to nibble on some shares because sometimes the price can just take one catalyst 
before it goes up and you may not see that price again stocks don't always go down sometimes they go up sometimes they go down but they never go down or up forever and so if we're going down for a very long time it's only a matter of time till they go back up don't be scared when it comes to these opportunities but remember not to throw all your money in at once and so this is just a quick overall market update video if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like we are on the road to 10k subs so if you made it to this point feel free to hit that subscription button this is dummy boy finance i'm dummy boy and i'll see you guys in the next one